going on everybody? So I have the best review ever. Damn. I'm so happy. So happy that this movie turned out so amazing. It like blew my expectations away. It was possibly the best animation movie I've seen on the big screen. I haven't seen many, but Dragon Ball Z. Uh, the Resurrection of Frieza. Uh, wow. Um, so I went like uh, two days ago. I went on a Monday night. And so I'm thinking maybe it's just going to be me and my two boys that I was going with. There's going to be a lot of people. But I think um, the movie making so much money over uh, the weekend really spiced it up. So when I got there, there was a line. A line to see Dragon Ball Z. Do you believe that? A line. And the movie theater was packed. It was so packed that people were sitting on the floor to watch this movie. Um, which I don't understand why you would do that to yourself. But um, people were standing up in the back and watching this movie. They were like, I don't care. I just want to stand up in the back. There's no more seats left. Sold out. Please just let me stand up and I'll buy a ticket. And they were letting them. Um, I'm not going to say the movie theater I went to see it at to put them on the spot. But yeah, they, they were cool enough to be like, okay, you want to stand up? Cool, stand up. But stay out the way, the entrance and the exit. Cool, so they stood up in the back. Anyway, so from start to finish, this movie impressed me. Um, let's start with the story. The story was funny. Uh, it was uh, action-packed. Um, it just... It just kept riding. I mean, there was a whole bunch of plot holes in there. You know, as being a Dragon Ball Z fan and my friends, we were just like, huh? That didn't make any sense. Um, pretty much, uh, like, why didn't... Um, how come Freeze didn't come back whole? Because Chaozu, he blew up in the series and he came back whole. And he wished him back whole. But since Frieza got cut up by Trunks, he came back in pieces... I mean, I think that could have just been taken out, and he could have came back whole, and they could have put him in that chamber and um, resurrected him like that, but that was kind of stupid. Uh, I like how they played up on upon how everybody hates on Gohan. Like, he just gave up. He's like, yeah, they, they actually gave him an explanation. He's just like, I haven't trained. I can maybe turn Super Saiyan. Um, but even Frieza notices that Gohan is still strong. Because he's like, oh yeah, he could probably take out a thousand men by himself. Um, let's see what else. Um, the Krillin owned himself in the movie, which is hilarious. Uh, the banter between Goku and Vegeta was spectacular. It was such it was such a point, man. It was just amazing. Uh, and everything that we crack on Goku about, all the memes people make about Vegeta and Goku, they kind of integrated that into the movie, and I love that. Um, one thing I do have to say is the voice actors don't know shit about the characters. Because they did this Q&A in the beginning of the movie. It was like this intro to the movie. And trying to give you a backstory what happened to Frieza and everything. And they asked them questions about the series. And they didn't know shit. Half of them, actually 75% of them didn't know shit. And that kind of was like, okay, you know, if I worked for a company, uh, let's just say Power Rangers. And I was like a ranger in there. I wouldn't know everything. Just because of Comic Cons, people asking me questions, because you don't want to feel dumb. You don't want to feel like you're into the series. That was the only downfall of the whole thing. But other than that, the action, holy crap, the fight scenes. When Goku did a freaking one-inch punch, you know what a one-inch punch? Bruce Lee invented the one-inch punch. It's pretty much, he put his fist, he put his hand to freeze his chest and just went, pow, just... It was phenomenal. I love that Bruce. The Bruce Lee nods in that movie were incredible. When Vegeta kicked uh, a certain person, he kept his foot up like real high. That was pretty much what Bruce Lee used to do, uh, and put it right back down real slow. Um, uh, the kind of uh, little plot hints for the future was pretty cool in there. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna butcher his name. The Destroyer uh, Burris, Burris, whatever his freaking name was. Uh, he pretty much, hint, uh, him and, uh, Weasel, Wes, whatever his name was, uh, sorry, I'm butchering the name, guys, don't, don't rip me for this, um, uh, he pretty much told him, oh, yeah, didn't you order the destruction of the Saiyans? And he was like, oh, please, don't ever tell him, don't ever tell him, uh, and, you know, it can never be mentioned, that's pretty cool, I hope they hint on, they show, they show that later, the only thing I kind of had an issue with was Trunks and Goten weren't there, 
um, to fuse and, and stuff. I mean, I guess that kind of would have they kind of would have took on Frieza or tried to take on Frieza by themselves. Um, I guess because they were children, but sure, they're kind of stupid. They weren't in the movie at all. The only time they were, their trunks was name dropped like three times. Um, and you can see how Goku's like the worst father ever because when something happens at the end of the movie, he's not even, he didn't even mention Goten. <laughs> he was just like, whatever. Oh my God, this happened. This is crazy. Um, but, uh, I kind of, I love the ending of the movie because it just pretty much sums up all of Dragon Ball Z and how Goku's just a scene stealer all the time. And Vegeta just racks on him about that. It was just incredible, man. Uh, they had Bulma talking shit. That was great when she was just talking shit to Frieza. Um, Master Roshi had a big moment in there. Freaking one hand Kamehameha. That was epic. I mean, like, I don't want to spoil too much for you guys, but the movie was a 10 out of 10. They really put their heart and soul into this. And I'm so happy that Dragon Ball Z is back. It's for my kids, you know, when I do have them. Um... For this younger generation to experience what we experience as children, um, it's just, you know, it's a turning point. And um, I think a lot of the things they're doing now is all the stuff we wish for as kids. Um, it's coming out now, and I'm kind of happy. I thought I was going to be dead and gone before they even came out with a freaking Avengers movie or anything like that. But all this stuff is happening all over again. Um, they announced a trailer on there, Attack on Titan movie is coming out, um, Ghost in a Shell, etc., and, you know, I think uh, Terry Toriyama is really, um, is really doing his thing, man. And I know he made, he, he pretty much told us, oh yeah, you know, I'm sorry, some of these characters I didn't put in, or I just forgot about them, you know. I have so many characters in my brain, I just forget sometimes. And we understand that, cool, but, you know, you're just doing a great job, man. And I praise uh, Funimation, Dragon Ball Z, you know, anybody responsible with uh, Dragon Ball Z in general, I, I give you a thumbs up, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for a great movie. Everybody, go see it. If you can't... They extended the release, so you can probably go see it this week. But I think that's it. And then you can wait for the DVD, but don't wait for it. See it on the big screen. It's so much worth it. Just seeing what a crowd of people... Let me tell you something. The crowd of people I was with, we were all cheering, and you felt the, you felt the energy. And I love that. I love seeing um, and feeling the emotion of other people watching it with me. I love going to midnight showings, and that's why I go for those. Um, but all in all, man, this is an experience. Go see it. Uh, There's probably going to be a ton of people seeing it with you. It's probably in small theaters. I saw it in a really small theater, but still, it was amazing. Um, I give this movie a 10 out of 10 again. I said it again. Please, guys, go see it. I love it. All right? Till next time. See you later. Peace.